Hey guys, uh, DM Scotty here. I wanted to talk a little bit about uh, remote gaming. Um, my daughter really likes to, to join us, but she lives in another state, so uh, sometimes she visits and we play and that kind of thing. But there are times when she can't, and but she really enjoys playing. So we've come up with kind of a system through Skype uh, to have her actually remote play on the 2.5D tiles. So um, I wanted to, I've had people ask me about this. I wanted to show you uh, I thought it would be easier to sh just show you how I do it. So let's go to the table and I'll show you how I set that up. Now here I'll talk about my typical setup. So I have my 2.5D tile set up. And uh, of course the normal players are you know moving their figures as normal and playing as normal. Um, so what I do is I use a laptop to remote. So I have, uh, I'll pan up here and I, you can see I can actually, may actually see me on the screen there. I have the laptop. I have some external speakers so it's easier to hear the person play. Um, I don't actually have anybody online so I'm just seeing, I have the camera set up to show what, what it, the camera is seeing right now. So um, I, what I would do normally is I would expand this, this uh, window to fit the entire screen so the person's head is, you know, is, is large in the screen. And on Skype there's a small um, window in the corner where you can see what the camera sees. Now you could use the uh, laptop camera, but I generally don't because I want to have it far enough away that um, everybody can see the person on the computer. Um, so I found it easier to have like kind of a remote camera, and I have a Microsoft Life Life Cam, and it's just a camera that sits uh, like this. I'm gonna go around because um, it, the cord was the other way. So I just have a camera like this. Okay. So now if I want to show that the remote person the game okay what I'll do is I'll uh, let me pan back down to the game here so I'll have the camera but you know you don't want to stand there and hold it so I'll use some kind of something to hold up the camera like um, like say a dice tower okay now generally I'll make it uh, another players um, responsibility to do this so they can help me out so I don't have to worry about this I'll just have another player set it up for the remote person so they can see. So they just t they just roll their own. What I do is I just have them roll their own dice at home. Tell me what they roll. Um, tell me their damage. You know, we'll tell them their damage. Uh, they tell us where they want to move. And really, that's all there is to it. It's really easy. All you need uh, is um, you know some way to have um, like Skype or something like that. Uh, I guess you could use Google Hangouts, but we use Skype. So um, let me pan up and I'll show you the computer. So basically. Um, when I'm, we're talking to the person, they'll be the like I say, they'll be the smaller screen. We can see what the camera sees, so we can set that up so the person, uh, you know, online can see what what we need them to see. Okay, so uh, that's really all there is to it. And you know, you can move the camera around if you need to get a bigger, different angle, or you know, that kind of thing. So you know, it, it's pretty straightforward. Um, I, I find that the remote camera does help a lot as opposed to trying to use the camera on the uh, laptop because that's just you got to get the laptop close. Like I in this demonstration, I've got the laptop very close. Normally, it'd be sitting back where a player. I almost it's all we almost set it up like a player sitting there. So we have a space, and instead of the player sitting there with their their sheets and their cards and dice and all that, we just set the computer there and then uh, then use this remote camera. Uh, to get them into the action. So really that's all there is to it. So if you have access to this technology, uh, if you have a laptop, you could probably use a, uh, a, a tablet too. I haven't experimented with, it, experimented with that. I find the laptops better. Um, but, um, you know, I, I do like the speakers because it makes the person louder. The speakers on a laptop are generally pretty bad. So I got these, these aren't, you know, super expensive speakers. They're pretty cheap. And this camera wasn't super bad. It was it wasn't too uh, horrible. Yeah, it was under a hundred bucks. So uh, that you know that's that's how we do it. And uh, I hope that helps some people who are interested in uh, maybe maybe having a player who would love to play but just you know um, you know just can't be there. So this is this is a way to do it. And you know keep in mind that only you need this stuff. You know they could they could do it on their if they if they had to on their phone. That, that wouldn't be the best way, but. They could do it on a tablet or you know a PC or whatever, 
It's just you that needs this setup. So um, that's all there is to it. Uh, have fun and happy gaming.